It's idle, it's vegan, it's natural food, liberty. In short, it's Camila's Kitchen. Camila McDonald's background is in nutrition and wellness. And I have always been fascinated with you know, really helping to guide people how to choose healthier choices. Which, as she points out, are usually what people run away from. Because they're not the tastiest choices. So I really got into food. My love started from showing people how to marry healthy and tasty together. And that's where Camila's Kitchen was born. <laughs> Camila's Kitchen, a cookbook before becoming an eatery. Her menu drawn from its pages, as well as family recipes. Our most popular burger is the Black and Bosi Burger. It's a combination of quinoa, black beans, and black rice. And we season it up with the most delicious Jamaican seasonings, so scallion, thyme, onion, garlic, um, scotchy, can't leave out the scotchy, so it has a kick. Uh, we also make our own sauces that are all plant-based and refined sugar-free, which is important as well. So our barbecue sauces, we have our own mayo. Um, it's really been delightful kind of venturing into this. I would say our top sellers are definitely our loaded nachos that's made with seasoned up walnuts and we make our own cheese, we make our own mayo as we were saying, it's um, filled with jalapenos and salsa or house made salsa. That's a top seller for us. The burger is also a top seller. We either have it with air fried fries or breadfruit chips. Our jerk shroom wrap is also really good. So it's jerk mushrooms and we put little slices of plantain and pineapple in there. So it kind of has that sweet and spicy vibe going on. Our cheesecake is popular. Our, our Buddha bowls are popular. We have of salads of all kinds. I really love um, nutritious, nutrient-dense salads. We have yattis that are gluten-free. I'm particularly proud of these ones. It took me about six months uh, for me and my team to put together this formula because working without gluten is very, very difficult. I think we have a little bit of everything that everybody would love. <laughs> is it a myth that vegan, idle food simply doesn't taste as good as, you know, meat-based uh, dishes? Absolutely a myth. In and fact, I dishes. dare any meat lover to come up to Camila's kitchen and try a dish up here um, and tell me what you think. I dare you. <laughs> More people are going to be eating like this going forward. Yeah. In I terms of what's happening to the planet, in terms of, I don't know, maybe just a little bit more of a focus on taking care of yourself. I absolutely do. Plant-based food is good for the environment. It's good for your immunity. It's good for your overall health. You don't feel as bogged down after a meal because your digestive system, you know, you're not giving it too much work. So you feel good. It doesn't mean that you have to eliminate meat either, you know, Anthony. It's just about finding the balance. Maybe you might not become a full-blown vegetarian, but knowing that, you know, predominantly we should be eating plant-based, that's the truth. Something is wrong with our diet because a lot more people are having colonoscopies now. Absolutely. In fact, that uh, chronic non-communicable disease is a huge issue here in the Caribbean. Um, you know, we are the amputee capital of the world just by limbs being lost from type 2 diabetes. We have heart disease as a major issue. We have hypertension as a, a major issue. The good thing is plant-based is a trend right now globally. The scientists have proved it. I know me says so. Plant-based food is where it's at. You know, that's where um, you get all the nutrients, the, the phytonutrients, the, the, the antioxidants, the vitamins, the minerals for you to come alive and thrive. Really. But there is this perception that idle vegan based food is more expensive. Being sick is also very expensive. And so if you think of um, healthier food as an investment, this is one, your one precious vehicle that you have to carry around this earth and, and for you to, um, yeah, really live out your fullest potential. This is it in the food that you're eating. It's the very thing that makes us go. Need to lose weight or change the course of your diet? Camila McDonald offers meal plans delivering breakfast, lunch and dinner, desserts and snacks too. By the way, you had issues with weight at some point. Yes, 
I did. So when I left home, um, this was back in 2002, I went to live in Norway for two years. Um, it was a lot colder than what we're accustomed to. And I think the stresses of school and just not really understanding how the tools in managing stress and eating, making good eating health choices. So um, yeah, I was almost 200 pounds at my heaviest and I've spent my life um, through my own lifestyle change encouraging people to find um, the inner strength within to make their own choices. Camila recommends the loaded nachos. I really enjoyed the burger. That's Camila's kitchen for heaps of tasty goodness and a nice view from Skyline Drive. There's a great vibe on Friday nights.